Understanding Windows 7 Windows is the name of an operating system which is a system software necessary for running a computer. It acts as the interface between hardware and user. In fact, Windows is the most popular operating system found in most of the computers. Windows 7 Windows is a graphical user interface or GUI based operating system that enables you to start the system, manage various devices, administer your files and allocate computer resources judiciously. The first screen that you see on switching on the computer after logging in is the desktop. Computer desktop has these parts. Desktop background, icons, taskbar and start button. Taskbar is the long horizontal bar at the bottom of the screen. It contains icons of the most used and currently open programs. You can find start button on the left corner of the taskbar. Working with icons. The small pictures we see on the desktop are called icons. They are pictorial representations of files, folders and other computer programs. You can double click any icon to open the related file or program. Some of the common icons on the desktop are computer, recycle bin and network etc. Selecting or deselecting an icon. To select an icon, single click on it with the left mouse button. The icon so selected will be highlighted with background color. Click anywhere else on the desktop to deselect an icon. Opening an icon. Double click on an icon with the left mouse button. It will open the selected program. For example, Double click the paint icon to open paint window. Now you can start using it. Opening the context menu. By right clicking on an icon on the desktop, a drop down menu appears. This menu is called the context menu. The context menu contains many options like open, cut, copy, paste, delete, rename and properties which can be selected by clicking on these menu items. For example, right click on the paint program. A context menu appears. You can select open option to open the paint program. Arranging desktop icons. In your cupboard, your t-shirts, jeans, socks etc. are all kept in different piles to keep them organized. This makes it easy to find an item when you need it. Similarly, you can keep your desktop screen arranged so that you can locate programs, files and folders easily. To arrange your desktop, right click anywhere on the desktop, not on any icon. Select view option and then select auto arrange icons from the menu that appears. Your desktop will now be arranged. As you have selected auto arrange icons, whenever you will add a new icon on the desktop, your desktop will be automatically rearranged. Sorting desktop icons. Arranging numbers, characters, files, icons, etc. in ascending or descending order is called sorting. Desktop icons can be arranged in ascending, that is from A to Z, or descending order, that is, from Z to A. To sort desktop icons, right-click on desktop area, select the Sort by option. Sort by option will open another menu with four options. Name, Size, Item Type and Date Modified. Name this option is used to display icons in alphabetical order. Size. This option is used to arrange icons according to their size. Windows 7 shows the smallest files first. 
item type. This option is used to sort desktop icons according to their type. Date modified. This option is used to arrange icons according to their date last modified. Latest modified icon will appear at the end. Select any one option to sort the icons on the desktop. Mouse pointer shapes. While you're working in Windows 7, you may observe that mouse pointer may change to different shapes. Let us learn these various shapes and their indications and actions. Normal select, used for pointing, selecting and dragging objects. Text select, used for text to indicate a location between characters. Working in background, used to point, click or select while a task completes in background. Busy pointer, used to wait for a window to become responsive. Four-headed moving pointer, moving pictures, toolbars, windows, etc. Double-headed pointer, for resizing window, picture or any other object. Changing the desktop background. You can change the background of the desktop by changing wallpaper. Wallpaper is the picture on the background area of the desktop. For changing the wallpaper, you can select it from the Windows Gallery. To change the desktop background of your computer, follow the steps. Right-click on the blank area on the desktop. The context menu will appear. Click on the Personalize option from the menu that appears. The Personalization window will appear. Click on the Desktop Background option. The Desktop Background window will appear. Choose Wallpaper from the list that appears. The selected picture will become the wallpaper. Now click on Save Changes to save the changes you made to the desktop background. Setting up the screen saver. A screen saver is a picture, animation or animated text which appears on the screen when the computer is on but is idle for some time. To set up the screen saver in your computer, right click on the blank area of the desktop. Click the left mouse button on the personalize option from the menu. The personalization window will appear. Click on the Screen Saver option on the bottom right corner of the window. The Screen Saver Settings window will appear. Click on the bar under the Screen Saver. Choose your favorite Screen Saver from the drop down menu that appears. We are selecting Bubbles here. You will see a preview of the Screen Saver on the small screen. Once you are satisfied with the Screen Saver settings, Press OK button to confirm the screen saver. Cancel button will cancel all settings. Shutting down the computer system. Shutting down is the process of closing all the running programs and exiting the operating system safely. Shutting down the computer system properly is very important to keep the data and other software on the computer safe and secure. To shut down the computer, first click on Start button. The Start menu will open up. Click on Shut Down option. Windows Shutting Down screen will be displayed. After some time, you will see a blank screen and there will be no activity in CPU. The system has been shut down and it is now safe to turn the computer power off.